Solar energy is great and it's going well if you trust the headlines. It's cheap. It's getting cheaper every day. Indeed, it's the world's cheapest energy source and it's going to power the world much sooner than you think. But if it's so cheap, then why are we subsidizing it? Is it all a scam after all? I've been trying to wrap my head around this for a while and I finally found some helpful numbers. The cost of different energy sources is typically measured in what's called the levelized cost of electricity. This takes into account all the expenses one has when building a power plant, from construction to decommissioning. So it's not just the running cost. The levelized cost of energy for solar power is typically estimated to be somewhere in the range of 40 or so US dollars per megawatt what hour. The only thing that's even cheaper is wind. And solar power has very low carbon emissions. It looks like a win-win. Good for the environment and cheap. What else can you possibly ask for? Well, one problem with solar is that it takes up a lot of area. This is beginning to annoy people who'd rather see fields and meadows than photovoltaics, even if they're called green energy. Protests against solar farms have sprung up in the UK and in the US. In Germany, for whatever reason, there's more opposition to wind turbines. I'm not sure why that is. But the bigger issue with solar power is that it's dark at night. A power station that only delivers electricity when the sun is shining has a hard time being profitable. This is why they need to be able to store the energy at least for a couple of hours to deliver in the evening. And this adds substantial cost. And this isn't all of it. One also has to take into account weather, seasonal variation in sunshine and battery losses. The American financial advisory firm Lazard recently crunched the numbers and found that a more realistic estimate for the solar electricity cost is 50 to $130 per megawatt hour. This is for a solar farm located in North America or in similar sun conditions. This cost is comparable to modern gas power plants and in the lower end of coal. If you find that shocking, they aren't the only ones who arrived at this conclusion. The German Fraunhofer Institute, which is super pro-solar, found 60 to 225 euro per megawatt hour. And they too found that on average, solar is comparable to or even more expensive than gas. Why are these numbers so much higher than the ones I showed you earlier? The biggest two factors are that they're not taking into account battery storage and that they tend to assume sites that are unrealistically sunny from most of the world. And that doesn't touch on the problem that we have our biggest energy demands in the winter when we need heating. We're not going to fix this problem with solar because, you see, the reason it's cold in the winter is that we don't get much sunlight. Maybe this was obvious to all of you all along, but it wasn't for me, so I apologize for being slow. Basically, the story that solar power is cheap isn't true. It's only cheap if you forget that sometimes it rains and that you need batteries as a buffer and those have limited efficiency. And this is why solar is heavily subsidized. The numbers for solar alone are hard to find in budget tables. But if you look at subsidies for all renewables in Germany, that's in the ballpark of 10 to 20 billion dollars a year. In the United States, it's something like 80 billion a year. But that includes support for electric vehicles. Either way you look at it, it's a lot of money. For context, we could build several nuclear power plants from this each year. The problem with nuclear power isn't radiation, it's public relations. I can already hear the sound of angry solar panels unfollowing me. That said, what solar energy can do for you depends strongly on what part of the world you live in. In countries near the equator with little cloud cover like China and Australia, solar energy can do heavy lifting. In middle and northern Europe, the northern parts of the United States and Canada, not so much. Pointing at China and saying, look, they built solar like crazy, we should too, doesn't make sense because Europe isn't in China. We aren't anywhere near the equator and we don't have millions of empty square kilometers in a desert. 
Instead, we have umbrella collections and daylight faking lamps. However, it's true that solar panels are becoming cheaper and cheaper and batteries too, which makes solar energy increasingly attractive. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against solar power and I'm not against subsidizing it. It's great for powering your air conditioner in the summer. But after looking at those numbers, I think calling it cheap is misleading. Saying that solar is cheap is like saying holidays are cheap, except for the flight, hotel and the sunbed you'll need afterwards because it rained for two weeks. Yes, I do read a lot of news and know that chatbots still aren't any good at writing my scripts. But what does help me a lot is Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take, for example, this recent story about the scientists who found that the solar system moves faster than predicted. Ground News conveniently summarizes all news on this in one place and gives you a quick overview. You can also see that this story wasn't covered on the political right, which I find very curious. Ground News also gives you a factuality check, tells you who owns the media outlets and shows you where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called blind spot this tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum and of course i have a special offer for you that's a 40 percent discount on the vantage plan which gives you access to all their features all you need to do is use my link ground.news zabine or use the qr code so go and check this out thanks for watching see you tomorrow